I mean, what what wired me up also is uh, I didn't go to the bloody eighty nine uh, Anfield lot like, because that obviously is today, isn't it? Like you know. Uh, well, let's talk about that, Lee, because that's winding me up that you never went and you never <laughs> believed in it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you know, I've got Ken saying, oh, I was here this time. Like, you know, he went from, he was working in Coventry and he went from Coventry right. and of course, Steve. And you're in all the stories today about yes. all the people that went out there. And that's winding me up that I didn't go. Like, <laughs> I went, and, uh, no, I'll so, make sure, yeah. listen, I'll make sure that comes out. This part comes out today, mate. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, it was, oh, yeah. it, no, it was, it was an amazing time, wasn't it? And do you know what? Everybody's got their, their story, Lee, haven't they? Yeah, I, whether you went or whether you didn't, that, that is the great thing. You've got all the stories, you know, I'm like Ken saying, you know, like he was working in Coventry, he managed to get a ticket from somebody from there and managed to go up there on his own. He went on his own and yeah. Steve went where he went and you got Amanda with her story and all that. All the stories that people say that, 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 that did go are always going on about how horrendous the traffic was that day, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, and, and didn't get into the ground too late and all that. Like, and, and the stories of afterwards, you know, like you guys going down to the Winners Club and things like that. Those sort of things, you know, like when we was down at Ivory, we didn't even hear about that, kid. You know yeah. what I mean? You didn't, you know, like, uh, we was, uh, you know, going around Avenue Road and all things like that, hoping that the... The, the coach comes back to the ground. Yeah, but it was there was you know like hopefully the coach you know you know and people looking at their watches and saying like well if they left at ten they could be here by two you know what I mean like you know but, we never you, left at ten let me tell you yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then but that was it you never knew where so you you know like you know there weren't mobile phones there and all that like so you you know didn't even know about where yeah. where everybody was going or whatever like you know and uh, so that that you know spe special special time and I. It was on a course on um, Saturday night again, wasn't it? And at five o'clock, I had to watch it. You know what I mean? It's, it's uh, me too. Saturday. I watched it. I've got to admit, and I still get, I still get yeah. excited. I still do. Yeah, all I, that. Who was I watching? Uh, um, uh, Michelle's boy Regan, who unfortunately is a Spurs fan, he didn't really know about. It. He said like, "What this?" He said, "What you needed to get this goal to?" It. I said, "Yeah." He went, my God, like, you know what I mean? That's unbelievable. He goes, like, you wouldn't, but you couldn't script it. I said, no. Nah. You know what I mean? Exactly. If you've done a film about that, and, and honestly, if you watched it as a film, and at the end of it, you walk out and go, oh, no, silly ending, because that's the that, perfect that just finish, isn't it? Really? Yeah. It's, it's the know, perfect, it's, it's the perfect Hollywood finish, which yeah. you think would never happen. No, nah, yeah. And I, I look back on the game and, we played so well in that second half. It, it was unbelievable. My, 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 uh, my ex-manager phoned me up uh, today, funny enough. I said, Kevin Richardson, don't get the praise he deserves. I said, well, we, we've always said, and you've said it as yeah. well. You know, he was absolutely outstanding in that second half. You know, people don't realise how, what, what how job good he done. is. Yeah. It was, you know, fans, we played so well that half. And I, I, I don't know how you feel. Do you know Mickey Thomas missed that chance of about 15 minutes to go? Yeah. It's been... Interesting, if he'd have scored that, what would have happened out of that? Because I think Liverpool might have come come at us. You don't know. It was, well, George it, Graham, you know, Lee, I think me and you have had this discussion, but I love talking about it, so let's cover it again. George Graham actually thought we're going to win the game 3-0. Yeah, yeah. Now, if Mickey Thomas had scored that goal, Liverpool then have to open up. Yeah, and, it, and that's gonna that's gonna open more gaps for the boys because we were yeah. playing better than Liverpool. Yes, we was. Uh, you know, what I mean, so so do you think we would have gone on and won three 0 not, not them coming back into it? Well, and listen, I, I'm I'm not saying that we would have won three 0 but we would have had a lot more opportunities because yeah. Liverpool would have had to open up. Whereas, at, even at one nil, they could still try and be a little bit more conservative. Do you know what I mean? But at 2-0 yeah. with 15 minutes to go, they would have had to throw all hands to the pump because they're losing the title. So, you uh, know, fingers um, crossed. Uh, well, like, at the end of the day, it works out. It, it was a better finish anyway. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's just... It's more you know, dramatic. It's, more dramatic. Uh, a lot uh, more dramatic. Uh, I'm blown. And you, you talked to a few like Spurs. So I was talking to my brother about... You know, my brother and all these mates were all all gone down to like a Spurs bar or something, I remember. And he was saying that they'd all gone down there to, to celebrate. You know, Liverpool, Liverpool winning it, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. They, Arsenal had messed it up. It was a good night for them. Like, let's enjoy it. And uh, they was, you know, and then when Alan Smith scored, he, he says it to this day, oh, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, tell it right. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> they're gonna do it and he said no, they're gonna do it and then like you know and he he, he he remembers to this day when it went in like you know all the spurs they oh I, you will know they do it they do it it was just a great great yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, you know, so it was great to hear it from their side you know what i mean like the worst day of uh worst day of their um their, their lives, lives yeah night, you know so, uh, it's Steve Sedgley's birthday today. Oh, you know, Sedgley, um, a top guy, lovely yeah, guy. 52 today he is, so like, um, but he, he, you know, I was speaking to him, he, he, he's had that all, for, for all his life, you know what I mean? The day Arsenal won the league is on his birthday, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <Sedgley>. <laughs> love it, Sedgley, love it, son. <laughs> <laughs> That's old Spurs. Just, uh, I he's hope just, he's well, but no, that's oh, great. Yeah, yeah, he's, good, he's, good, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's in a good place, you know what I mean? But like, uh, I'm gonna, when I see you, I'm going to say to you, like, you, know, you, know, you must hate Arsenal. <laughs> you must hate Arsenal. <laughs> Every <laughs> year he's reminded, yeah. <laughs> Every year he's birthday. Happy birthday. And he's going to see saying of Anfield, like, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> quality, love quality. that. No, I love that. Love that.